Hi, welcome to tips and tricks video for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now you guys know I've already done a tips and tricks video for this phone but I think it's a good idea to remake the video and give you some additional tips for Samsung's One UI because this phone has been recently updated to Android 9 Pie. So a lot of things that I told in my previous tips and tricks video are not relevant anymore because the menu layout has changed and some of the settings have been relocated to different submenus. So this is why I think it's a good idea to remake this video and give you guys some fresh tips and tricks that you can use with your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And I've also got a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh, let me know if you want to see a similar video for this phone. Oh, and by the way, I'll split this video into three to four parts. Each part is going to be like 10-15 minutes long. And the reason why I'm doing this is because there are a lot of tips and tricks and I don't want to bore you guys with one hour long video. So it's really better that we split the video and you guys can watch those individually. And please check the video description. I've included a full time code over there so that it becomes easier for you guys to find a particular tip in the video. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. And yeah, my desk is kind of a mess. That's a working PC. All right, so I wanna start off this video by addressing some of the doubts and questions that you guys have for the Samsung One UI upgrade, which is the Android 9 Pie. Now the most common question I keep on getting again and again repeatedly is that the camera has lost its 4K video recording functionality. Well, that is not true. 4K video recording is still there. So launch the camera, then go to settings and scroll down here to rear video size, tap on this, and then you have to tap on this blue thingy and here you'll see the different option for your video size and yes we still have uhd which is 4k 60 fps 3840 into 2160 so this is still there you just have to explore the phone a little bit do you guys remember that the previous version android oreo used to have a pro photo editor here so once you're inside the gallery and you open up a picture then press these three dots there used to be a pro photo editor here now with One UI, Samsung has included the Pro Photo Editor inside the gallery so there is no separate app. You don't have to open this. If you tap on this pencil icon, this is your Pro Photo Editor. And a lot of people were complaining that the Pro Photo Editor has been removed. No, it's not been removed. It's right here inside the gallery. And you see this one has all the functionality of the Pro Photo Editor. So you have your cropping tools, then you have some different filters here. You can download more of these. And then you have stickers, you can do picture inside the picture, so you can add picture here to an existing picture. Then you have stickers, all that good stuff is still there. And you can download more stickers here from Galaxy apps, then you can write something on the picture. And then you have some uh, coloring tools you can draw on your picture. And here we have some tools like brightness, exposure, contrast, saturation. So all the pro photo editor tools are right here. And uh, if you read the release notes, so let's go to settings, scroll down here to software update and tap on last update. So if you read the release notes for one UI upgrade and scroll down here to gallery, photo editor pro editing tools have been added to gallery so you can make all your edits and touch ups without leaving the app. So pro photo editor is there. It's just been more integrated with the gallery app. I've seen a lot of people download third-party apps just to make a collage and you guys know downloading more and more apps slows your phone down and you don't need to download a third-party app just to make a collage. The inbuilt gallery includes a tool which allows you to create a collage. So tap on these three dots and select create collage. Let's select six images. I think six is the maximum. Then tap create collage. And you see that? So we have different uh, options here and I think you can manually also zoom in zoom out and you can replace the picture by tapping over here or edit the picture if you want so this is again the pro photo editor so this is why the inbuilt gallery on this phone is quite powerful and you can also change the color of the outline and change the outline itself so just so you know all these powerful tools are available inside the gallery and once you're done with editing just press save and it will be saved in your gallery so here it is now you can share this with whoever you want now here's a cool little tip if you open up the app drawer and take a look at this clock icon this one is actually showing you the real time and this icon will keep on changing you see those two hands 
those will keep on changing as the time changes so right now it's 1 3 a.m so you can see it's actually showing the real time and i can demonstrate that by changing the time of the phone so i'm gonna change the time from 1 4 a.m to say let's change it to 3 30 uh, that will be more visible so once i press done let's go home open up the app drawer you see that that clock icon also changes so this is actually showing you the real time that's pretty cool so this is more like a hidden feature but i think it's quite interesting and i want to show it to you guys so if you press and hold the power button you usually get three options power off restart and emergency mode now there's a fourth one that you can enable and it's called lockdown mode now picture yourself in a situation where you're walking down the street and you kind of get mugged and the thief uses your biometrics to unlock your phone and then runs away with it you know what let me just demonstrate what i'm trying to say here so for example you lock your phone like this the thief steals your phone then uses your finger forcefully makes you touch on the fingerprint reader and that unlocks the phone and the thief runs away with your phone or he can use your iris you can just point the phone at you and the phone will unlock to counter this lockdown mode disables the iris scanner and the fingerprint scanner so once you turn on lockdown mode the phone gets locked and now you cannot unlock the phone by using the fingerprint scanner so you see it's asking for the pin you have to enter the pin there is no way you can unlock the phone without entering the pin you see the iris scanner is also not active so in this case you will have to enter the pin and yeah then the phone will unlock so let me show you how to enable the lockdown mode and i'll show this to you guys on my samsung galaxy s9 plus so to enable this go to settings then scroll down here to lock screen then tap on secure lock settings then enter your pin and then make sure show lockdown option is turned on now whenever you press and hold you'll get this lockdown mode option and once again this disables the biometrics and the iris scanner and you have to enter your pin to get into your phone and then there's another option here called auto factory reset now if you enable this so for example once again if your phone gets stolen and the thief is trying to guess your pin and trying to unlock your phone if he enters the incorrect pin code 15 times the phone will reset itself to the factory default setting and all your personal data including files and downloaded apps will be removed so I think this is a good option to enable if you're traveling somewhere. So I think I'll keep auto factory reset enabled. When you update your Samsung Galaxy phone to Android 9 Pie, you'll see that the notification style on the lock screen has changed. Previously, you used to get a more detailed notification like this, but now it appears like this and you have to tap on it to open the notification. Now you can change it. I do prefer the new style, but there's a way you can change this so let me show you how so we'll keep this phone here and i'll show you this on the s9 plus okay so let's first unlock the phone and let's go to settings then tap on lock screen and then tap on this notifications here tap like this and here select the view style and change it from icons only to detailed and now you get the traditional style notifications and i'll just demonstrate that so there you have it the old style notification is back and here you can go ahead and hide the content so now only the notification will show not the contents of the notification and you can also change the transparency so if you set it to low the notifications will appear like this in a white box yeah transparent is much better and then you can enable or disable if you want to see your notifications on the always on display on Android 9 Pie, you have this new feature where you can just lift your phone up and angle it towards yourself. The screen will automatically turn on. So once again, let me demonstrate that. You see, screen is off. Pick your phone up, angle it towards yourself. The screen will automatically turn on. This feature is called Lift to Wake. And let me show you where you can find this. So open up the settings and scroll down here to advanced features. And here you tap on motion and gestures and turn this option on which says lift to wake. So whenever your phone is asleep, take this and if you pick, up, pick it up from the table, it will automatically turn the screen on for you so that you can just check what notifications you have. With the Android 9 upgrade, we have a new feature called night mode. Now night mode should be available in your drop down notification bar right over here. But if it's not, go to settings and then display and here we have night mode now once you turn on night mode it will change the theme of the phone from white to black 
and there you have it. And I personally feel that this dark slash black theme is more comfortable on the eyes. It's kind of more soothing to look at especially at night because all of the elements on the screen are dark and this night mode also works with certain Samsung apps. It will not work with your Chrome web browser or Instagram. It only works with Samsung apps. So for example, let's fire up the weather app. You see it's dark. And once I turn night mode off, it will return to blue, which is its original color. And same goes for the phone dialer. You see it's white. And once I turn the night mode on, it will also go dark. And again, I do recommend that you keep night mode on because number one, it will save you battery power. This is an OLED screen and you guys know on an OLED screen, there is no backlight. The pixels themselves generate their own light and if an area is black that means pixels aren't active in that area and when the pixels are not active that means they're not consuming any battery power by using a dark theme like this you will save battery power but if you're using this white theme you can see the entire screen is white and we are using a lot of battery power so i do recommend that you use night mode just keep it on but one thing to note is that if you use a theme night mode will not work so let me show you what i'm talking about so let's set a custom theme like this one apply right so when i have a custom theme set like this one the night mode option will not work so once i press this can't use night mode when using a theme so you must use the default theme of samsung to make night mode work so i'll have to go to themes view all then set this default theme uh, then the night mode option will work so once I've changed the theme to default now I can use night mode if you've ever used always on display on your Samsung Galaxy phone you'll know that this feature is a bit of a power hog but with one UI Samsung has included a new feature which allows you to turn the always on display off and then tap it to turn back on let me show you how to enable this and this feature will allow you to save a bit of battery power so first go to settings then scroll down here, go to lock screen, go to always on display, scroll down here and tap on display mode. In display mode, change it to tap to show. Now if I turn the screen off, you see there is no always on display. Now if I want to see always on display, I can just tap on the screen gently and always on display will appear and I get to see my notifications, the time and date, the battery level. So I think this is a neat little feature and I think you should start using this because this will allow you to save quite a bit of battery power and this will turn off after about 30 seconds. You saw that it went off and just tap it again if you want to see the time and the date. If your Samsung phone is running Android 9 Pie with One UI, here's a cool little tip. Now traditionally, if you want to rotate your screen, you would probably drop down the notification bar and then disable the rotation lock and then you will be able to rotate your screen like this and if you want to keep it in landscape then again you'll press this rotation lock thingy and now it's locked into landscape mode and you might use this if you want to use your phone in bed now with android 9 pi you don't need to drop this notification bar down you can just leave the orientation lock to portrait you see it's locked in portrait but whenever i tilt my phone i see this little icon here and when i tap on this icon the screen rotates to landscape and it stays there. So this is a very, very useful feature if you wanna use your phone in bed and it's a little bit more convenient because again, I don't have to drop down the notification bar and I don't have to enable or disable the screen rotation lock. And if I bring it in portrait, you press on this and the screen will go to portrait mode. And yes, it's locked into portrait mode. And this works with apps that actually support this. So for example, in Play Store, it will work you see that it works and then let's go back here you see it even in the home screen it works so let's bring the home screen back but in Instagram it will not work because Instagram does not support this you see we did not get that icon yeah that's what's inside but yeah Instagram does not support auto rotate so it will not work it works only in supported apps and it also works in the gallery so it's a little convenience tool uh, just makes your phone a little bit easier to use all right guys that's it for this video thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i hope this video has helped you out stay tuned for part number two for samsung one ui tips and tricks 
and do follow me on instagram and on facebook the links are down in the video description and i will see you guys next time